Taxi driver Jojo Estrada lived in Camarines Sur all his life. He tried to work in Manila but eventually returned. He says he is happier and less stressed here. But Jojo is frustrated with the divisive politics. He says it is to blame for the slow progress of the province. Sa Camarines Sur sana yung maayos yung magkaisa yung mga issue, yung issue ng mga politiko para maging maswag yung o maging matagumpay yung isang bayan para maging maging yung yung mga tao ba mabigyan din ng pagkakataon na maging hawa rin sila. Estrada's sentiment is common in Camsur, one of the country's poorest provinces. Voters say they want change. In the province, there's bickering not just between parties but even within families. 77-year-old incumbent 3rd District Congressman Luis Villafuerte Sr. is running for governor. His opponent? His 24-year-old grandson. He had a falling out with his rival's father, incumbent 3rd Termer Governor El Rey Villafuerte. Congressman Villafuerte is also fielding his wife, Nelly Villafuerte, to take his position in the House. She will go against late Interior Secretary Jesse Robredo's widow, Lenny. The Villafuertes are only one of several political dynasties that ruled the province for decades. Ironically, voters say they want improvement but also don't see anything wrong with the ruling families. They say they vote for these clans because they have the experience anyway. Siguro ang magtatagumpay pa rin yung may mga nasa pwisto eh dahil talagang kilala na sila. Sa, sa, sa tingin ko, pare-parehas lang naman sila eh. Sa ibang kuha na lang, ibang... Mga ideas nila, yung proyekto, kung saan nila gagawin yung mga kanilang mga, yung mga plataforma nila na dapat nilang magawa. This is the challenge for new candidates. To convince voters, hope lies outside traditional politics. Lenny Robredo says she is running to end the Villafuerte dynasty, but she says in order to win, she must change voters' mentality. Parang yung, yung konsepto ng politika dito sa amin, patronage talaga. Ako... If, if I will be given this chance, gusto kong mapalitan yung lahat. Kasi yung asawa ko parang yung nadat nandito ang politika, ganun din. Pero during his first, year, first term of office, parang nabago niya yung ganong mentality. At nung nabago niya yung ganong mentality, yung, yung mga tao dito sa amin mas naniwala sa sarili nila. Candidates have six months to make voters believe they are not just subjects but also stakeholders. Most voters in Camp Sur are like Jojo who dream of change but don't fully understand what it takes to get there. Natasha Gutierrez, Rappler, Camarina Sur.